In my previous videos, we talked about 900 strategies and combos. Let's add on to it today. By the way, this video couldn't have been made without help of these players. Let's start. Your movement as a hunter is super important. Use tendril sprinting to build up momentum to be able to hit your attack. When it comes to tackles, after you hit one, humans will have their camera locked onto you. Use it to hit them with one tackle after another. Just change the, the direction in which you are running right before reaching your opponent. And the same you want to do with Howl Tackles. Once you are closing on somebody, Howl and tackle them from behind. If used properly, and if you are a bit lucky, you will teleport on their screen, making them miss their weight. Now we are moving on to something very special, and that is Ramp Tackles. Basically, when Hunter's tendril sprinting on short inclined surface, he then runs mid-air for a split second. Police cars have the best profile. Make sure you and the surface are on the same level. Tendril sprint aiming at the hood of the car. Hunter will now be running mid-air, allowing you to perform a tackle for a short period of time. You can do the same on hills or roofs, either run over the edge or turn around 180 degrees. Both will make you sprint mid-air. Just remember to tendril roughly in front of you, not above, not below. And it can also be done over small objects, like barriers or trash piles, of course from the tendril sprint. Now let's talk about the tendril GP animation, in which Hunter, raising his arms, doesn't cancel the tendril. It can be done in several ways, here's the general rule holding claw GP button, then either howl or use spit or UV block and hold tendril to wherever you want to go. Release the GP button first. The second method requires climb animation. If it's a smaller object, start holding GP and tendril buttons in the set order while aiming at the ledge you are near. When hunter starts climbing, release the tendril button Aim at your target and tendril again. It requires a good timing. Release the GP button first. The same you can do with re regular climb animation, but I don't think it's too reliable. Now let's take a look at what you can do when humans are hiding in water. To ground pound underwater, make sure you are near the bottom, and after a second of or two of holding the GP button, tendril a few meters away from you, and release the GP and tendril buttons in a quick succession in said order. When humans are on the surface, you can tackle them from water. One way to do it is to tendril on a horizontal surface beneath water level while holding all tackle buttons. Then, while still hold, holding those buttons, swim to the surface and once you're there, look at a human in range and tap spacebar. Remember that after each of these animations, you can use pounce for a short period of time. And finally, to use spits underwater, you need to spit while using tendril. That's pretty simple. The next little trick is to pounce or spit through a horizontal surface. Tendril below you and crouch immediately. For a split second, you'll be able to perform these two attacks. Next up, we have a short UV heal. When Hunter's hands touch the ground during the UV heal animation, Tap the cancel button, default Z. Now let's talk about some general strats. The first of them being ground pound into pounds into another ground pound. What we use here is the short UV invulnerability after GP and the ability to charge GP inside animations. Another strat is the T-Log. It's basically GP orange spit into toxins, optionally UV block, then ground pound and pounds. What we want to do here is keeping a human in the toxins for as long as possible. Then we have stalling. The thing is, you don't have to fight humans all the time. Instead, you can jump around them, threatening an attack, while just wasting their time and regenerating your spits. Another concept are the spawn traps. There are many human spawns throughout the map, which are areas that favor the Night Hunter. One example being the area near the striped dragon hotel. For the human to have a chance of spawning in a kill zone, position yourself somewhere on these roofs here. 
And I got to say, this is a concept I for sure have to further explore. Okay, this will be it. Thank you for watching and good luck in your games. Peace.